Hi, and welcome to WaveLab. As you may have noticed, WaveLab is laid out somewhat differently than other audio workstations you may be used to. While we believe this results in faster and more efficient workflows for specific audio activities, we understand it can take some getting used to. In these videos, I'd like to show you the main environments in WaveLab and give you some ideas of how they can be used. The audio montage is a non-destructive workspace where you can assemble your projects. It has the most in common with the audio workstations you may be used to, such as multi-track layouts with mute and solo functions, and plugin processing that can be applied to tracks, track groups, and the main output. However, it also has many other features that are tailored specifically to mastering and audio post-production workflows. Let's take a tour of the interface to familiarize you with the layout and some of the tools available. At the top of the WaveLab interface, you'll find a series of tool and meter windows. There's a lot of overlap here between the three main environments, so take your time getting to know them and their capabilities. One quick tip is that WaveLab has a very flexible interface that's based around tab groups, and nearly any tool or meter window can be popped out and docked to another part of the interface, floated alone, or even added to a control window. Once you design a layout you're happy with, you can save it or even make it the default. And if you ever get lost, you can just reset things back to the factory default. Now, let's take a look at creating our first montage. You can create a montage by clicking on the File tab, going to New, Audio Montage, and either setting custom properties or selecting one of the included templates. Let's choose the Two Tracks 96K template. Along the top of the montage window, you'll find the ribbon. Here, you can access tools to control your view, make edits, insert markers and files, process clips, adjust fades, modify envelopes, adjust audio analysis, and render all or part of your montage. Below the ribbon is your main montage window. Here, you can add further tracks of different types, import audio clips, and arrange and edit them. Finally, on the right, you'll find the inspector and master section. In the inspector, you can adjust levels and add plugin processing. Note that unlike many DAWs, plugins can be added on a per clip basis and have clip based automation assigned to them. It's also worth pointing out that while there are many ways to use WaveLab, the plugins hosted on the master section are not saved with montage by default, but rather are recalled every time you open WaveLab, regardless of the working environment. As such, many people like to use the master section for plugins that are always used, such as additional metering, final dithering, or playback processing. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what can be done in the audio montage. For more information, head on over to the WaveLab YouTube channel, where you can find tutorials, the Pro Workflows livestream series, and much more. Thanks, and we hope you enjoy working in WaveLab. <laughs>